Hey everyone, let's make vegan mac and cheese but curry flavoured. Here are all the ingredients we need. First up, we're going to soak our raw cashews in hot water for about an hour to soften. To speed up the process, you can also boil the cashews on the stove for 15 minutes. Once they're soft, place the cashews into a blender. Into this, we're going to add 1 cup of water, a clove of garlic, along with 2 bird's eye chilies. Squeeze in the juice of half a lemon. And last but not least, half a cup of nutritional yeast. Blend this until it's super smooth. Look how creamy this is. Set it aside for later. Grab a yellow onion and finely dice it. You can also use a red onion if you prefer, or shallots. We also need 4 cloves of garlic. We're going to slice these finely. Into a large pot on medium heat, pour in about 60 ml of vegetable oil. When the oil starts to heat up a bit, add in the diced onions and garlic. Strip 2 curry leaves into here as well. Cook until the onions are translucent and very fragrant. Next, we're going in with 25 grams of flour and 60 grams of curry powder. Quickly stir the flour into the oil and cook until it starts to brown. Then slowly stream in 500 ml of oat milk. Stir as you pour to make sure the liquid gets incorporated properly. Make sure there are no lumps of flour. If you prefer, you can also use a whisk to make sure it's properly mixed through. Continue to stir until the sauce thickens. Now let's pour in our blended cashew mix. You can add a mix of your favourite vegan cheese in here as well if you prefer. Taste the sauce and season with salt. And that's it, our sauce is done. So easy. Here we have some cooked macaroni. You want to cook your macaroni just under al dente. Follow the packet instructions and take it off the heat 1 or 2 minutes before it's cooked. And then rinse it under cold water to stop it from cooking further. Pour the macaroni into the pot and mix everything together. How incredibly creamy does this look? You can serve it just like this, but let me show you how to make a quick topping to bake in the oven. To a medium-sized bowl, add in 1 cup of panko breadcrumbs, some salt and pepper, 3 tablespoons of nutritional yeast, 2 sprays of curry leaves, and crushed garlic and chilli. You can use garlic powder and chilli flakes if you like. Pour in 1 tablespoon of oil and combine everything well. Spoon the mac and cheese into an oven-safe dish. Cover the mac and cheese generously with breadcrumbs. You can top it with vegan cheese or some extra cheesy curry sauce if you have any. We're going to bake this for 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius or until the topping is golden brown and crispy. Alternatively, you can just bake the breadcrumbs first and then sprinkle over the top of your mac and cheese. Serve this immediately on its own or with a nice salad to balance it out. I don't think you'll have any leftovers, but if you do, let me show you what to do with it. We're going to quickly stir a seasoned flour mix with some water to create a batter. Get the leftovers from the fridge. The mac and cheese should be quite firm now. Clump a large ball of mac and cheese in our hands like this, then dip it in the batter. Next, we're going to roll in some panko breadcrumbs. Deep fry until golden brown and you've got the most sinful, delicious snack. Crunchy and crisp on the outside, but soft and creamy inside. For extra flavour, wrap these in a wild beetle leaf, topped with a bit of ketchup and a curry leaf. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to see more recipes just like this one. Thanks for watching everyone!